Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Hotfix. Today, we're going to talk about the, uh, uh, well, it's a fiasco. It just literally is a goddamn Kickstarter fiasco. This is the Tim Schafer. This is the uh, Double Fine Productions. This is the Double Fine Adventure, which I do believe is called Broken Age, Mr. Kirioff. This is the uh, the fiasco that is that game's Kickstarter. Oh, dear. So, I think we best throw it over to Mr. Kirioff for some cold, hard facts. Good Lord. Well... It was funded in eight hours. They wanted $400,000 for Double Fine Adventure, which at that time didn't have a... That was the working title. It didn't have a proper title, which is now Broken Age, obviously. In the end, it went on to get, I think it was $3.3 million, which is quite a so lot. So it made quite a lot. Quite the amount. Yeah, quite the quite amount of lot. money. And uh, So hang on. They, they asked for 400000 but raised $3.3 million. Yep. They, they okay. blasted their target well out of the water. And, and here... Here is what Tim Schafer had to say, and this is off the Kickstarter page itself. Big games cost big money. Even something as simple as an Xbox Live Arcade title can cost upwards of 2 or $3 million. For disc-based games, it can be over 10 times that amount. To finance the production, promotion, and distribution of these massive undertakings, companies like Double Fine have to rely on external sources, like publishers, investment firms, or loans. While they fulfil an important role in the process, their involvement also comes with significant strings attached that can pull the game in the wrong directions or even cancel its production altogether. Thankfully, viable alternatives have emerged and gained momentum in recent years. So he has used that. He's used that to raise his money. And uh, the problem here is that Mr. Tim Schafer declared that this would be a small project. After all, $400,000 is not a huge amount for a game. So... The Double Fine Adventure was to be a small, small game, a small project, because Kickstarter is perfect for that. Instead, sir, they raised three point three million dollars, which is quite a lot. And this is what happened, Mister Kirio. So there is a a little bit of a message sent out to the uh, project backers the other day by Mister Tim Schafer, and um, I've got quite a lot of quotes from this. I'm not going to read the whole thing because I'd be here forever. But this is what happened. This is the uh, literally the first paragraph, and it says this. Get ready, because this is quite shocking. Even though we've received much more money from our Kickstarter than we or anybody anticipated, that didn't stop me from getting excited and designing a game so big that it would need even more money. Hmm. <laughs> yes. What the hell? What the hell? Let's just go back, Mr. Kirioff, to some figures. How much did they originally ask for? They asked for $400,000, sir. How much did they raise, sir? 3.3. Well, if you I'll give you the exact number. I'll give you the exact number. $3,336,371. Okay. Okay. Let me just read you this quote again. Even though we've received much more money from our Kickstarter than we or anybody anticipated, that didn't stop me from getting excited and designing a game so big that it would need even more money. And do you know what, Mike? Uh, I mean, when we do Hotfix, just to give you a little insider bit of knowledge into what goes on around here, we have um, notepad files with, you know, points we want to talk about. And literally, next to this quote, I've just wrote, what the fuck? That's all I've wrote. That is my note. What the fuck? What the hell? So, you make an, uh, you, you, you make a shitload more money than you originally wanted for a game, okay? That turns out not to be enough funding to actually make the game when originally you only asked for four hundred thousand dollars so what would have happened if you only had four hundred thousand dollars what see this is this is the thing that makes this like incredibly bad they're having and this to... bullshit little get out line oh well uh, i made it a bit too big what if you're if you do not make something bigger than the budget you've got that's not what you don't do that because if you haven't got enough money to make it then you don't let's have compare that this project. to buy a house mr kirioff Hi, oh, hello. I would like to buy a house. I quite like that five million pound house over there. I think I'll get a mortgage for that. Oh, dear me. I cannot make the repayments. Not that any bank would give you a mortgage for that. Um, oh, dear. Oh, dear. But I, I really wanted that big house because I, I thought big. Oh, That's kind of a poor little <laughs> analogy comparison. But the, but the basic... But maybe you get what I'm saying. The basic <laughs> thing of this is that they received... A vast sum of money in comparison to what they're after. The project was supposed to be small, and they're now at the point where they're going to put it on Steam Early Access to raise more money because the three point, the ne basically the nearly three million extra dollars they made on top of their original figure 
isn't enough for the game that he then designed. Now, if he got the $400,000, right? Is this guy a fucking idiot, right? Okay, I know there's loads of people out there, oh, Tim Schafer's a god and all this shit, right? Um, to me, he, he, this stinks of, like, the worst gross mismanagement I have ever seen. Well, maybe that's a bit over the top, but it is gross mismanagement. Right, guys, this is a project. We need $400,000, and let's face it, that's going to be an upper estimate as well because it probably was only going to cost let's say $300,000 to make whatever game they originally wanted to make, which again, as Mr. Kiryoff said, is not really much in the, the grand scheme of game budgets. Then gets $3.3 million instead of 400000 and then he's like, holy shit, I'm going to make a massive game. And then when he's, instead of sitting down and, and kind of looking at all the figures, the numbers, how long it's going to take this game to make the game, blah, 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 blah. He just went ahead and started production on this game with the money he had. Has got to a point he's at now. He's like, oh shit. We cannot afford this anymore. Now, let me just read off another quote. In fact, I'm going to read off a couple of quotes, so just brace yourself. So we've been looking for ways to improve our project's efficiency while reducing scope where we could along the way... Uh, maybe I should start that again. <laughs> what the hell? So we've been looking for ways to improve our project's efficiency while reducing scope where we could along the way. All while looking for additional funds from bundle revenue, ports, etc. But when we finished the final in-depth schedule recently, that's the key word here, you finished this recently, it was clear that these were opportunistic methods, that these opportunistic methods were going to be enough. So they state there, well, he states there, they only recently finished the fucking plan for the goddamn project with the money they had. But I'm sorry, when did this Kickstarter end, sir? Oh, February, February the 8th, I believe. I will just check this again, because, you know, you know, we've got to... Gotta make well, sure I mean, fuck me. Wake up call. Here. What fucking month are we in now? What do you do? Anybody who starts any kind of business venture sits down and goes, this is how much money we've got. This is what we can do. So this is what we're going to do. You don't sit down and go, oh, we'll just do anything. Yeah, that's, that's great. Just start production on this. Do that. Um, oh, it's like, you know, five months later. In fact, it's actually, four or five months now, later. Now look at it. It started February the 8th, finished March the 13th, 2012. Um, so. Oh, so a year. So yeah. that's. Oh, it's only took a, it's only took a year. And then we finally recently just finished our little uh, plan, which says we're fucked, boys. Oh, dear. The main thing... But then, but then but then, I go on. Allow me to go on. We looked into what it would take to finish just, first half, uh, just the first half of our game, Act 1, and the numbers showed it coming in for July of next year. Not this July, but July 2014. For, the first, uh, for just the first half of the game, um, the full game was looking at, like, 2015. My jaw hit the floor. But then it, we go on. We go on, Mr. Kirioff. This is the this is the, the this is bad. This is real bad. This was a huge wake up call for all of us. If this were true, I mean, why would it not be fucking true? We were. Going, we were it's just so bad. We were going to have to cut the game in half. We were going to have. We were basically like, like you know what I. He says it's not. It's not cut the game off. It's by seventy five percent. He literally says this was a huge mistake. It was a massive wake up call for us, and uh, I'm afraid we're going to have to cut the game by seventy five percent. What the hell would be left? I I don't even. You you rate. You asked for four hundred thousand. You raised three point three million. I mean, I'm so disgusted. I'm finding it difficult to read what's in front of me on the screen because it kind of beggars belief. It's like I cannot believe that. I mean, like we just go back to the figures at the start of this. You ask for 400,000, you raise 3.3 million, you then make a game which costs way more than 3.3 million. You run out of money, literally, before you've even finished the first bit of the game. Uh, so now you need more money, but you've only just realised this, even though you've had like a year to work this shit out. And now you're telling people that you're going to have to cut the game down. You're going to have to, unless you... What would happen if you only raised 400,000? Yeah, I, and, and it's that thing of, we need more money, because otherwise we'll have to cut it down by 75%. 75% of a game that you have got from raising God knows how many times your original figure. I don't. I just don't understand how anyone... It beggars belief. Looking it, at this. Just say it. Beggars it's belief. fucking stupid. And also, I... I mean, I didn't back the project, right? But I'm going to go ahead and assume that if you're one of the people who backed this and you saw it raise 3.3 million instead of 400,000, you thought, holy shit, this is going to be a good game. And now the guy's turned around and said, yeah, I'm afraid the 3.3 million that you lot gave me in good faith to give you a game, well, I'm afraid uh, I just spent all of that. 
Um, I'd like to see where he spent it. Well, you, you never would. They never release such information. But it would be interesting to see where it actually was spent because that's quite strange. It's just like, you incredible. Know, uh, how could you make such a gross, a gross like, uh, uh, a and you know what? Underestimation of, of like. I mean, but anyway, it gets worse. So he then says, asking a publisher for the money was out of the question because it would violate the spirit of Kickstarter and also publishers. Uh, whoa, whoa, so that is literally what he wrote. Hang on. Wait a fucking second here. It would violate the spirit of Kickstarter. That would violate the spirit of Kickstarter going to a publisher because you spent all of the money you got from Kickstarter would violate the spirit of it. The spirit of Kickstarter is someone gives you the money you ask for and then you make a game and you give it to them because they funded it. The spirit of Kickstarter is not to take God knows how much more than you were actually looking for and then squander it and claim you're going to have to claim the game that these people have paid for will have to be cut down by 75% unless they give you more fucking money. That's retarded. That's bullshit. And the guy's a fucking idiot for even saying that. What is that about? You know what? This is this is this is literally the most cringeworthy thing I've seen on Kickstarter today. And now I think back. Uh, every time we've done a hot fix that's been centered on Kickstarter, it's usually negative. And the the first like big scale projects are sort of coming into their. You know, they've they've had a year. What are they doing? People want to know. They want updates. The the first project that started the whole Kickstarter rush off which is this game, Broken Age, is obviously fucking mullered because it doesn't have enough money to produce the game. But uh, my original point was, I think this is the most cringeworthy comment because the the entire, like, it's not a press release, but the entire message to the uh, the backers that was given is so bullshitty and false and wankery it's, and just, it's like a knobhead wrote it's, it, basically. It's, not like, even, it's just a, it's terrible. Is, but let, let me finish. The, the uh, I thought... Um, What's his face? Chris Taylor's. His was the worst, where he just was begging for money to keep his studio open. I think this is worse. This is just... No, I think this is worse. Because the, Chris Taylor was like, we need money to keep the studio open, and here's the game that we'd like to make with that money. This is is just... This is a guy who is a veteran of the industry, who is known and fucking worshipped by pretty much everybody for making incredible games. And he's turned up. He's taken all of this money... And then said, yeah, well, you see, the thing is, the amount you gave me just wasn't big enough for what I decided to make. So he yeah. just, he paid no, I can only assume, he, it's paid, no, fuck, yeah, eh? it's he paid no attention to the amount he got. He just made whatever the fuck he wanted to. He didn't take into account budget. He didn't take into account... Because, ho, ho, wait on a minute. Is he sitting there thinking, you know what, I can just play the system here. We've got $3.3 million. I'll just make a game that's worth more. Uh, and I'll just come out with this, which is obviously a plan. Let's let's say it was planned because I know we're going to get more in donations. It actually says, thank you for the kind donations. People have been actively donating to him since he's made this uh, statement. So how much have they made from that? Maybe it was it was a plan. Or it was just a, a cold, systematic fucking plan to just get more cash. Because like you said, he is a respected figure. It's just, I just, I mean, I kind of hope that's not the case. But I, I to be honest, I have i guess lost faith just in the guy completely because it feels like he has been incredibly irresponsible he's been incredible how you can be that ignorant about budget when you've been in this industry for so fucking long i mean it's tim yeah. schaefer how long has he been making he run, games he runs, for i mean double finds independent as well I mean, for god's sake it's not like you, he's, you would think he knows yeah, how to make he games turn up yesterday the guy's been at what this for like god no years and years and years and years and years and apparently he doesn't Longer know how, than we've been alive. Yeah. I mean, for fuck's apparently sake. Apparently he doesn't know how a budget works. How the fuck are you supposed to maintain confidence when the thing you've backed that raised so much more and the guy just completely ignored all of it and was like, well, I was going to make a small game, but because we've raised money, I'm just going to increase it so much, so massively. I'm going to make a game so big that there is no hope we would even have slightly covered it with the original budget or, in fact, the budget that we got to work with in the end anyway. How can you so, trust... So, how the hell is he going to get out of this? Well, you kind of touched on this earlier um, with the whole Steam thing. Well, this is what he says. Then we had a strange idea. What if we made some modest cuts in order to finish the first half of the game by January, who knows what these modest cuts actually are, instead of July, and then release that finished, polished half of the game on Steam Early Access? Backers would still have the option of not looking at it, of course, but those who were sick of waiting wouldn't have to wait anymore. You know, they could just play the first half of the game in January. Here's not first half of the game in January. Mean, it's here's like, an idea. If you don't want to keep right, people so... waiting, make the fucking game you were supposed to in the first place. I don't mean I it's just a thought. I mean you could always design a game in the budget that you've been given and release it on time. There's an idea. Well then, 
Then, sir, he goes on to say this. I want to point out that Broken Age's schedule changes have nothing to do with the team working slowly. They have been kicking ass and the game looks, plays and sounds amazing. It's just taking a while because I designed too much game. This is, You know what this is? This is Molyneux. This is Molyneux syndrome, isn't it? <laughs> it is. It is Molyneux syndrome because... Nobody can be as bad as him. <laughs> because his thing was... Well, his thing has always been... I'm just going to... Oh, yeah, never deliver. Yeah, I shall promise yeah. the world and deliver nothing. And this is exactly what Tim Schafer's has done, except he didn't do that to start with. When Molyneux does something, it's like, oh, yeah, whatever, Molyneux. You know, we know, you're not, we know we're not yeah. going to get that. Tim Schafer, however, has not failed to deliver before. What he's done has always been very good. So he said, I would like this amount of money for a small project, a, a, you know, a classic point-and-click adventure. He got a load of money, and he went instant Molyneux on it. It was, oh, well, I've got this much, so we'll just have everything. We'll make the game massive. It'll have the best, you know, we'll make the best thing we possibly can. And budget isn't an option because we've already got 3.3 million. Except that's not how it's ever worked. And so now you've got a Kickstarter that raised a record amount that apparently didn't raise enough for a game that was supposed to be small, but is now so big they can't afford to make it. Then you've got the thing of the Steam Early Access, and that thing about, oh, the people who don't want to look don't have to, that's bullshit. They've paid for your game. <laughs> there are people who've donated like 5000 fucking dollars to your stupid game, and you're telling them, it'll be on Steam Early, but uh, you don't have to look at it. Of course they're going to fucking look <laughs> at it. They gave you a massive chunk of money, and you've just fucking wasted it on a game that's too big for the budget you were given. I mean, what the fuck is that statement? But what about this then? What about this? What about Massive Chalice? Now, if you don't know what this is, people, this is the other kickstart from Double Fine, which uh, started May the 30th and finished uh, the 27th of June. And uh, that asked for $725,000, but raised $1.2 million. I wonder how much of so, the raised from that's gone into Broken Age. I'm just calling that, it. This game, <laughs> this game, okay, less of a budget, Double Fine game. Uh, how can they possibly manage this game? In fact, if you, if, you, if you even look at the original figures, so this asked for 700000 to begin with, only made 1.2. Uh, the Double Fine Adventure only asked for 400000 and raised 3.3. That's way more, and they still couldn't manage that. It's like, I have no faith in this company, this guy, or any of that shit no more. And I'm like, is this a... I'm going to use a fancy word to get ready, and I'm pretty sure it's the correct word. Endemic, sir. Oh. You, good Lord. Problem of uh, Kickstarter. Where, you know, you, there's a lot of faith. You, <coughs> they go on like, I apologise for that. But it's like, I'm choking, it's that bad. They go on about publishers being so bad. And, you know, and I get publishers are restricted. They do this and do that. But what's the one thing publishers do? They make you make the fucking game. Yeah. You make the fucking game. When you've got these people who are just going out on their own and all of a sudden they're their own bosses, which they've come from an industry where they have been told what to do. There's no pressure to get the job done, so they fucking fanny about, right? I've seen people in my real life as well who haven't been given direction and fuck about and waste money, waste time, because they, they literally need somebody to go do this and do it now. And they're not capable of doing it themselves. Maybe that's that... I, I, it, you know, then I look at other stuff like Star Citizen. What happens if that fails? I've got a bit more faith in Star Citizen because I think it's a way more professional... Uh, a whole Kickstarter pledge thing that's been put together well, fails, along with all the other stuff they did. And, yeah, and if that fails, Kiri will kill himself and I'll be left in this shit with the YouTube channel. But, uh, you know, I, this, I mean, look, guys, I want your opinion on this because it, it's, it, this is the worst thing I've seen happen on Kickstarter for any game in Kickstarter. Tim Schafer starts the, the, the Broken Age Adventure Kickstarter, wants 400,000, gets 3.3 million, starts making a game, then says to everybody, oh dear, I don't have enough money, even though I've made like I've raised more than like four or five times the amount I would have, I even asked for originally, but I still can't make the game. So now I need more money. So if you'd like to give me money, that'd be great. If not, I'm going to put the game on Steam Early Access so you can buy it. Uh, apologies to people who have, have donated, but you know, just don't look if you don't want to see it before it's finished and uh, I'll be on my way. I think that sums it up. What do you think about that, guys? Uh, me and Kiri have obviously give our opinion. Get your opinion below in the comments. I mean, we read the comments. I say this at the end of every hotfix, but we bloody do. And uh, I think we best get out of here because I need to wash the filth, well, filthy taste out of my mouth. So I agree. It's just so bad. We'll catch you next time, people. Toodaloo. Toodaloo.